think it's going to be a fun series, whatever the hell happens. Yeah, it's a, it's a fun one, right? There's a bragging rights mostly on the line, $1,000, 156 RMR points on the line as well. But for the most part, it is the bragging rights and getting a higher placing in the tournament. Big are on the CT side to start things off. Fnatic over on the T side. Utility going to be used up, going in towards this A-bomb site. And Crims charging through the balcony early on. Centaurus trying to hold on. He's had a fantastic tournament so far. And... Love to round it out with the final game, looking solid. It's the first headshot onto Crim's bomb. Has been planted, and Fnatic are deep in the A-bomb site. Stacked on the site itself, looking to get these crossfires going for the post plant, and Brolan has already done just that. Two instant headshots landed. Now Big all retaking from this same side, but it's not going well for them. They get completely chewed up in that short position. And what a start for Fnatic, just landing shots all over the place. Yeah, just coming out swinging. Uh, Fnatic said in the pregame interview, before they really started getting going in this tournament, Crims was interviewed and said that, you know, they've changed up a little bit, Alex. In coming into this event, after some of the string of bad performances from Fnatic, they tried to change it up and they put more emphasis on having fun. Where better to have a little bit extra fun than in this matchup, right? It's fifth and sixth decider. And you just come in here swinging, trying to finish out the tournament with a bind. And if Fnatic are in this situation, I feel like it's going to be deadly. But seriously, we've seen some scout antics from him in the tournament so far. He gets off to a good start. Sirson is so good with that scout at times. He can definitely get you those early couple of kills that can really help you win the round. Sirson's going to remain active, rotating back to B with that scout. Boosting up one of his teammates as well. Fnatic have got early banana control. So that's something that they can use to their advantage. They can try and fake towards this B site. You can already see on the minimap, one smoke from Big has just been spotted on that B site. While the rest of Fnatic go back to top mid. And it is quite a passive A site hold, Dinko. So Big aren't going to get this information that quickly. And Fnatic aren't even going to give the game away. They're not going to use any nades. So Big won't really have the chance for the quick rotate here. Tizian just holding with the Deagle. Molotov gonna go down to his position. He's forced away. At 37 seconds, Tizian swings into the fire. Unable to take a kill. Flusher has received a good bit of damage though. He's down to 33 and Fnatic taking lots of damage. Good utility usage. I mean, they don't have much utility to play with, but they've used it well. And now with 23 seconds left, here comes the attack from Fnatic into the A-bomb side. But Centaurus from the pit has a good position. Who and Tizian following up with a double as well. Fnatic shut down, not a single kill for them. Wow, Big made that look easy on the crossfire. Two players standing side by side on the A site. Zantara is putting shots to the body and Tizian putting out some shots to the head. And that smoke at long really just completely stopped Fnatic in their tracks. They had to run all the way back to short. And you can see that Fnatic didn't have the same sort of nades ready for that short push. They didn't have the same ability to really use their nades effectively. And some great shots from Big get them the round. And now Searson's going for a run boost down mid, almost landing a shot as well. Pretty scrappy start for Fnatic, actually, coming into this. He had a good pissed around, but not getting a single kill into that second round is a little ridiculous. So I'm going to try and recover in this one. They've invested into the Deagles, the Tech 9, but Big have so much to play with. Two AK-47s, an M4A4, an MP9, and a Scout. So not really looking at too many problems right now for Big. Their CT setup so far, four players in the same bomb site, one very passive towards the back of B. Now, Kido is getting no information. He's not even peeking the coffins. As soon as I said that, he does transition to new box. It's not going up. Molotov as well. Another play into the B bomb site from Fnatic. They start to send the players in. Flashes up. Kido caught in the open, and that has allowed the B bomb site to go in favor of Fnatic. Oh, Searson, the first responder, only has the scout. So Brolan, with that recovered M4, can spray him down. That rifle already doing the damage, Dinko. Another kill for Brolan. And all of a sudden, Big are done for. They have to save. I just... Uh, the four-man setup on the A bomb site is too much of a risk, right? At that point, if you're going to be playing that, you have to have banana control, I feel like. Or at least have a player sort of gathering info. Kido, when the initial attack was coming in, was playing behind the coffins. He wasn't standing on top of the coffins. He was behind it. 
he had no chance for information. He decides it's the right time to go and toss some utility. So he goes back and throws the Molotov and the smoke, but he gets caught. He gets caught in transition back to the coffins. There's too much risk there involved for Keto in those repositions. He doesn't have any information. He has no idea what's going on inside of Banana. No one's close enough for Big to make that full rotation back to the B-bomb site either. So as soon as one player goes down, the rotation is so slow that gives extra time for Brolin to pick up the M4 and we can see how much work he does with it. It's just impossible to do anything there based on the gamble from Big. And that's what it, why it's called a gamble, right? Sometimes they don't pay off. And this time Fnatic coming right back into things with a force buy. Yeah, and I think maybe Keto can get away with being solo B there against a gun round because it's less likely they're going to rush you like that. But against pistols, Fnatic have the freedom to make that play of just going quickly into the B site. They can go through that molly that was deployed. A shame for Big that they lose that round, but a back and forth start to the game and what could be a fun one. 2-1 lead for Fnatic, but Big aren't giving up without a fight. They're already looking for the banana control in this very round. And Sirson's been boosted up on that half wall on banana. So now Big are going to go for the same again. But this time, they have the early info at banana. And that's why this A stack should work much better for them. Yeah, this is where it should be working out. And Tabson, fantastic start in the round. Oh, he gets caught though, trying to jump into the pit. And now Zantaras on the AK. That is filled from Zantaras, the double kill. And the third coming in from Tizian from the Incinidate. It is just Flusher alone. What a back and forth we've got here. Fantastic start into this one. And Flusher, we're trying his best, but Zantara secures 3k. What the hell is going on here, Alex? Crazy back and forth happening already. It's hard to call which way this puts going to go in the early game, because right now, obviously, this back and forth, if it continues this way, if Fnatic somehow were able to, to shut Big down in that round, that would have been them picking it up easily, right? That would have shut the economy out for Big, but they've won that round, and that should mean... Well, I thought we were going to see a lower tier <laughs> buy from Fnatic, Alex, but they pulled out the Mac 10s They've got the Deagles. Of course, it's Fnatic. They're the fifth and sixth decided the game. They're going to be going for this. Oh, it's not going well for them to start with, though. Tizian's got the spray down mid. I've got to say as well, Dinko, I would be a little bit scared right now if I were Fnatic, just because Zantares has that AK on the CT side. We just saw him get those two kills with it. As you said earlier, he's been in great form in this tournament. He's the third highest rated player in the tournament, even though Big haven't been winning all their games. So that goes to show that he has, has clearly been having a lot of impact for this big roster. Start of this round, though, it's Tizian who gets the early kill. And at least Fnatic have this control up banana. Again, though, this time round, Big do have two players here. They both have the weaker weapons, though. All three rifles for Big are on the A side of the map. It's just the Scout and UMP on B. So these weaker weapons are going to have to step up here for Big. Well, Keita on top of first orange as he gets one kill on the hole. Now Searson's under pressure. He's got one, but he's overrun by Brawlin who is currently, quietly, having a fantastic start. Seven kills on the board right now. Crim's yet to get anything done, but he's still alive and has a chance to step up now. Two Mac-10s spraying through the smoke here, Crim's. Trying to see what he can do, but it's nothing found through the smoke. Now the pressure starts to mount for Fnatic. Still a man down. The rifle's coming in against him, but it's Crim's with a Mac-10 with another headshot for Fnatic. Brawlin on the deagle. Oh, secures the second as well. Four kills in the round, and Fnatic, the force buy comes right back into things, Alex. And we are still here with no team picking up two rounds in a row. Ooh, great shot there on the second one. Brolin got a round of applause behind him as well for that round. 9-2. Nine 9-2 nine two right now, Alex. We're in round six. He's 9-2. Oh, now Zantaras is pushing down mid. This is just going to be all action, Dinko. If, oh. if this is going to continue, we're going to have a fun one. Zantaras up close, gets the first, not the second, though. It was actually Searson that stole away that first kill. And, oh, Golden with another kill. It's just fights all over the place. Keto goes down, and the B site is lost. Craziness at the start of the round, but unfortunately for Big, it doesn't go their way. The B-ball site's completely empty. And finally, we'll have a team picking up two rounds in a row. Fnatic. We'll go up to four. I have to say, this is certainly looking like the early signs of a very entertaining match at Counter-Strike, Alex. The towers charging down middle with an MP9 at the start of the round. Brawling, popping off. We just had some 
crazy back and forth force buys, but finally it looks like Fnatic have won the War of Attrition. CT side, it's very expensive to be on this defensive side. Crazy thing is though, Alex, even though you don't really usually want to see it, coming into this next round, if they save both of these M uh, rifles, if they save the AK and the M4, I see a world in which big just go for the force buy. I don't want to, but I do see that world. Definitely a very real possibility with how this game has started and with Searson having that extra money in the bank. Like you said, I, I would prefer them just to save at this point, but who the hell knows? This game has been a little bit crazy to start with. I love how the... I don't, don't know exactly who it is behind Brolan, but they look very comfortable. They are just relaxing over on the Fnatic side. 4-2 lead for Fnatic, though, and finally we get a more standard approach to the start of this game. We get a low buy. Searson and Tizian have those two saved rifles. Searson is going to be solo holding B. It's another hefty A stack from Big. And I've got to say, so far, Fnatic have been finding quite a lot of success towards B. They've shown quite a willingness mm. to hit this B site. This time, it's obviously just a couple of saved rifles, but Searson is going to have to step up. Searson has to show up with his M4. Big have gone for the smart call, finally ending this madness. Well, the two set of rifles, we'll see what they can do here. They Lower pushed approach. the commit, Dinko. Yeah. Big, though. No. Yeah, Big are so aware that this is going to be the full B hit coming through right now, but what can they hope to get out of it? Keep an eye on this rifle, Mahaza Searson. It's still down the bomb site. Kido with a P250 only. And that Molotov will force them out. Oh no, Searson's been spotted. Gone back to dark. Keto falls as well. Now Searson is gone. He doesn't have his bit to play with. And the kills come in for Fnatic. And there should be a clean round for them now. Yeah, okay, 47 in the hands of Tizian. Still there, so that's a save option. And Zantaris is absolutely nothing. So he'll be hanging around in the ruins. Seeing what he can pick up. Maybe on a player gets... Oh, he's down with the earth. Golden running right around the corner. He will find the headshot. And Tizian on the other side of the map with the AK. Of course, just trying to save this one into the next round. I want to get that into... Uh, I feel like you want to just toss this as Antares. Although Tizian is a very solid player, he'll want to keep this AK going into the next round. But mainly from a, a pure perspective, I'd love to have seen as Antares. But it doesn't matter. He doesn't save the AK. And the round is won by Fnatic. 5-2 to two up. They've grabbed control of things. A crazy back and forth. Finally put an end to. And a timeout coming in from Big. They know their buy is ahead of him. No shades for JW this time as well. A very important talking point, Dinko. That's where very all good analysis yeah. comes from. We should uh, we should really see, you know, look deep into the analysis on that one. Just see how much better his performance is when he uses the glasses in comparison to a not. Were you ever one of those people who brought like a, a good luck charm into your exams at school? No. There was a couple of those people. Yeah, yeah I, I, was, I, I never really... Noticed. I did have, um, when I was watching Wimbledon one year, I think it was the year Andy Murray finally won. I did have a lucky crisp packet that I had in my hand. <laughs> a lucky crisp packet? Yeah, but yeah, so oh, wow. he won like a quarterfinal or something. I was eating a bag of crisps and then I just kept that packet and he won the whole tournament. So, oh, yeah. so when there you got a good grade in an exam, did you walk in with a lucky pen? Is that how that <laughs> no. works? No, I, no? I didn't. Oh, it's just okay, that so, one scenario so crisp packets in my life. can be lucky, but yeah. pens can't be. Exactly. Okay, okay, we learned. Just that specific one. I appreciate that. Good information. We're back into the gun rounds, and Golden has just decided that he doesn't need to buy a rifle, Dinko. He's just such a good guy. I think this is the uh, the Just Harry special right here. He's going Beagle only, <laughs> saving the money so that he can get those drops later on in the game. And who knows, it might work for him. Golden's yeah. currently leading the charge in towards Boiler. Yeah, I, I do feel like the problem here, though, is Zantara's position is so damn strong. And this Deagle would have to land a ridiculous shot. And even if it does that, it's still got to deal with Tizian. So not fancying his chances here. Flash Bind comes in. That actually forces Zantara's away from the position. And now Tizian falling back as well. He's caught in the open. That's the first and the second on the sprite. to tuck himself back into the A bomb site. And this is fantastic from Big. A brilliant hold here on Inferno. And this is something when Big were on their purple patch of form, you know, dominating top of the world rankings, looking real solid for quite a few weeks. It was something I loved to watch was their Inferno A hold. I feel like it was just brilliant. Looked great there as well, right? A really solid hold just with Tizian lining up these first two kills. This was golden as well, swinging as the second man with the Deagle. So a bit unfortunate in that sense, but Tassim on a nice angle can just quickly jump up and reposition. 
I think from Fnatic's perspective, though, they've got to be going for this banana control because we've seen just how aggressive Big can be going. And in that very round, Sisson had pushed all the way down. He had all the information towards B, which allowed that A stack. So I think Fnatic really need to just have this default at the start of the round, make sure they don't lose too much map control. Sisson comes dangerously close to an early fight there. And this is that map control I was talking about. Deep smoke down banana from Big, but this time Fnatic have some players close by so Big aren't able to get that early ground. Big utility usage has been really solid. You can see in the previous round that uh, the utility usage really cut off Fnatic. Their attack was completely halted moving forward. It gave them a lot of isolated jewels. The defense was able to hold on very easily. And now delaying Fnatic yet again. T-Side have plenty of utility still available though. And they'll be using it up. Molotov into the cubby. Flash buying, buying off Boiler. Goes around the corner to short. And Fnatic, the bomb is still back on T-Stairs. They're trying to sell out this attack, but Tapson runs in front of the smoke. And as soon as that incendiary fades away, he'll realize no one's actually pushed with it. No one from Fnatic is actually pressuring this A-bomb site. Instead, they're going back over towards B. And the two defenders have not moved. It's Kido up on top of the boost. The first kill's there. Can he get the second? Of course he can. Searson backs him up, but the two kills have come through. The Molotov burns away Kito. The kill from JW delivers the kill back into the round. 2v3, still favoring big right now, but the bomb is down. Crimson JW both have to play from the bomb site here as well. And I think Big will have a decent idea that is the case. Tapson boosted, but JW spots him early into a 2v2. And both big players are going to group up in towards Ruins. Crims rounds the corner, but he's not ready. It's JW who has to land two shots. He gets the first kill, but there's no way in hell he's getting the second one. Tizian makes sure to trade and Big just about do enough on that retake. Now they had the man advantage into the retake, and you can see how important that was for them. They barely get through, but nonetheless, a good recovery from Fnatic. They do lose the round, but I just want to say how likely it was looking that they get onto that B-bomb side. It just wasn't looking likely at all. You have those initial shutdown kills from Kido and Searson, but the fact that they get the kills back in from Crimson JW is, is very impressive from Fnatic, but they still lose the round. Big picking it up. And now they have a chance to send the money from Fnatic into the bin. Well, that's a nice start as well. Nade lands onto Brawl and a second nade to follow through. A good bit of damage early from Big. As you were saying earlier, this utility has been pretty on point for Big so far. This time Fnatic have been able to take the banana control, which is something I was talking about previously. Big were getting away with a lot of aggression in some of those earlier rounds. So I'm glad that Fnatic are going back to this. Now they're all grouping up towards B. It's Tabson and Keto on the B hold. And for this tournament, those two players are actually the two lowest rated for Big for this tournament. That, that's a bit of a surprise, but let's see if some of them can step up here. Taps in under pressure, just got the first kill. He will burn away to the Molotov though. And now the attack from Fnatic. It's JW down to 23. 14 HP for Brawlin. And Kido. About to go for the spam. A little bit lit to it. JW has already crossed over. But they're aware of this possibility. And JW will lose the duel against Kido. One bullet would have been enough. And now Brawlin and Crims moving forward. At least a couple of bullets, shall I say that. And now Brawlin. Very low in HP. It's second oranges will be strong. Kido with a second kill. Now Crims under pressure. Multiple players running into his cross set. Just too many to handle. And it's big. Getting another retake on this B bomb site. Tying up that scoreline. Yeah, I'm loving how big are playing towards B here with these retake setups. Uh, they're using their nades on the retakes really wisely. Again, flashes over the top. Mollies for some of these angles. Keto just makes sure to sit back, stay alive. And then Fnatic are never comfortable in this post one. They don't want to sit on the site because they know that the A players probably still have nades. They try and get aggressive and Keto's one step ahead of JW. He wins that fight. It's just very good awareness of the situation from Big. They, they make sure to just stay on top the entire time. Always felt like they were in control of that round, but Fnatic are going to up the pace in towards A. Oh, Tizian behind the corner. He'll get one kill onto Golden. JW with the headshot. Now three versus four. A man advantage in play for Big, and it's trying to be followed up upon, but Fnatic are winning the duels. 
You can see Big with a very relaxed approach to the CT side have given a chance over to Fnatic. Uh, still a very small chance with all the players still being on lower tier weapons and low HP as well. But Keto catches the first in the back. It's flush up, the second kill on Crims, and JW stuck alone. And Seriously, is aware of his position. And a sixth round added to the tally of Big. Another a couple of important kills for Keto there. Just again, kind of sitting in the back lines. That time he was obviously initially rotated away from B, but he gets back in time, gets a couple of important kills to make sure Big remain in control. It's actually a big timeout ahead of this next round. Santara's getting that water in. Stay hydrated, everyone. He's got a nice big bottle as well, Dinko. That's what you want. If you're going to be sitting at your computer all day, just get a big bottle of water, stay hydrated. That's my, uh, my top tip of the day. Thank you for that, Mr. Hawker. Yeah, it's well. a new segment I'm trying. I don't think I'm ever going to try it again. <laughs> well, it works, at least the first time. Well, <laughs> wake me up when October ends. Big, you've played Inferno six times this October and won it just once. Ugh, that's not a great statistic. Not very fun fact for Big at all. There's quite a few close losses in there as well. Yep. Real heartbreakers. A 15-19 loss against OG. 13-16 against G2. Even 11-16 against Vitality. A lot of close ones. Santares, though. Calm down, my man. Oh, the flash is so good. Tizian sets him up for two easy kills. Yeah, that's huge from Santares. If I'm correct in it, calling this as well, the game that Big won on Inferno was against Godhead, right? That came that right down to one of those millisecond defuses as well. But they were to pick up still. So. Hasn't been the most fantastic showing from B, but they're putting up a fight here. 6-5. Yet again, Fnatic have found a way onto this B bomb site. Well, they are able to get this bomb down and play the post plan out though. They've currently set up with the man advantage yet again into the retake. The B defense, they may be going down, but they're doing enough on the whole to constantly give the man advantage to their team. So they have been able to make this retake work a lot into the B bomb site. Golden. Coming off the bomb site now, turning his attentions back into Banana. But Big will be taking their time. Utility still available and still be using it up. Clearing up, limiting all the positions. And now Flusher at Pillar with the first headshot. Can he get another one? Pushing in from Ruins of Tizian. And Flusher stepping up with a double. JW now needs to stand tall. And he's got the first. Crouched here at Pool. As Antares crosses into the open, it's an instantaneous headshot. And a seventh round for Big added to the tally. I have to say, these retakes, they're coming close, but they keep on winning them. Santares is just having massive impact in this game. The aggression down mid, the retake kills as oh. well. I don't even see him. I do not even see JW. Clearly, Santares does. Yeah, that's nasty. Yeah, I mean, you do have glasses, Alex, so <clears throat> maybe put those on. You maybe would have seen him. That's true. But Fnatic here with the AKs out, finally, utility available. Let's see what their call is. They have obviously seen a bit of a weakness towards B. They feel like they can take that bomb side. We've seen a lot of heavy pressure there from Fnatic. But they'll be slowing this one down. Playing out the default. A little bit of pressure in towards top middle. And currently here is Pearson with the first kill. Flash over the top. Tizian is able to peek with it. And it's another kill on the board. Make it a second for Tizian. And a third on the round for Big. They go up to a 4v2. And Tizian takes the orb. Oh, I'm loving the confidence from Big right now. They are just fighting every single time. And Fnatic can't handle it. Flush is in a 1v4. I mean, I know Flush is good in clutches, but he doesn't even have the bomb. There are three CTs sitting on that position. He's looking for a shot through the smoke, but Big aren't going to give him the fights that easily. This is more like it from Big as well, though. Like a full shutdown coming in finally. That B bomb site has had to be retaken quite a few times. So they'll happily take one of these rounds with Tizian pops off and gets three kills. And switches out to the AK 47 for the end of the round. You open the hands of Tapson. The flush up. Just biding his time in middle, hoping a play from Big will walk into his crosshair. But they're giving him a lot of respect. But Tizian might just get the perfect timing on the peak. He cannot tip the kill without flush it caught between three players. And he will go down. It rounds with the board for Big. I'm loving that we're getting to see Tizian be a little looser as well. Yeah. Normally, you know, more of the supportive element on the squad, but he's just fighting. 
have to take the OP even. I, I'm loving that this match, you know, it is a fifth and sixth decider game. So I, I'm loving that the pressure is kind of off a little bit. It's more about the prior game, right? So we, we get to see some of these players kind of freed up a good bit. And it's really fun to watch them let loose and just go for some of their wilder plays, some of the aggressive peaks. This is where we get to see some of the just raw ability come out on the server. And so far, it's been very entertaining. Definitely not a bad... Oh, wow, okay. Flush it with the kill on the dig. We've got to calm down for a second because Keto is going to have to make sure he holds this. He goes back for more. Almost gets that second kill, but he's almost out of ammo. Keto having to run away just about gets away with his life. And Searson has arrived on the rotate. Tizzy and elsewhere has got a kill. Searson will go down without a single frag. So it's again all to Keto. He's trying to hold this B bomb site. He's done so much in the round, but he's on 7 HP and he gets peaked, but the headshot swings out, takes down Crims, and it's all on JW. 4 HP caught transitioning from the pistol to the M4. And that's nine rounds for big. So coming into this one, Alex, that uh, I, I predicted Fnatic to be the favorites, especially on Inferno. You know, they've been looking real solid here, but this has been just a, a loose cannon this entire game from both teams but big just looking more poised on the individual level over on the ct side at least in the first half definitely nine rounds on the board we've talked about how inferno is is very balanced as a map normally now but you could argue it's even slightly t-sided at the pro level with how it's been playing out recently so for big to get so many ct rounds is great mm. They've done a great job with a couple of individual plays. Those retakes have been great. And this time, Searson is... <laughs> I thought he was ready, but he's not ready enough. Brolan, rounding the corner. He had a really good start to this game. It's good to see him land another shot there. Yeah, quite it down a little bit, but nonetheless, he has a chance to try and step up again. But the peak from Tizian swings around the corner. Good for one, but Crims with the immediate answer back. 4v3, man advantage still available to Fnatic, but Santaras, who has been very confident so far on the CT site, going on a bit of a wander. You'll not find much apart from a bullet to the head. Grim's taking him down, and now Tabson, alongside Kido, trying to win the round for big. It's looking like his stick almost surely locked in, but Kido has picked off one. Grim's with another headshot. That's three into this round for him. And a bit of a quiet start to the game. Started this round with four kills, and has three in the round alone. So just Keto, one versus three with the AK-47. Coming out of the apartments, Golden looking the wrong way. No suppliers in pit, misses the headshot. And now this looks like it is done. Fnatic with six rounds. Well, a first half of Counter-Strike that certainly delivered on one level, Alex. And that was a crazy Counter-Strike coming in, the individuals letting loose. That's what we hope for. Heading into the second half, more of the same. It's Fnatic on the CT side and immediately brawl and pulling out the jewelies. That's right, Dinko. We've got 11 guns on the server. Dooley's busted out by Brolan with the Kevlar as well. So they're really giving him every chance to do the damage with those two guns. Definitely remember Keto having that huge highlight play with the Dooley's on this very map over at Banana. That is where Brolan is currently playing, but Big have got so much ground in towards spawn here. You can already see Fnatic having to respond. Golden's coming back towards CT. And this could get uncomfortable for Fnatic if Golden goes down, which he does. Yeah, Golden going down is a big problem now for the defenses. He is that player that was cutting off the rotations. He was the gatekeeper to the B bomb site, and now Crims. Holding to the A site. Bomb is on the back of Taps and good peek from Krim. Still gets one out of that position. But the defense what is, is going still on, on the map weak. right now. <laughs> well, it looks like we've got a player middle with the jewelies here. Brawling goes down to Tapson. This is just a mental round, but JW tries to swing out short. Zantaris is there for the headshot. And like it was uh, meant to be, big looking to pick up this pistol round. Flush is not going to be ready for Kia, surely, with the headshot. There's a player seemed in every part of the map in that round, Alex. Yeah, getting a bit crazy there. Everyone just kind of pushing wherever they want, it feels like. Vantara is getting this opening kill at CT, though, really just throws the round into disarray. I think that's where Fnatic start to lose track of everything. And, and you can't really blame them because they just have such little information at that point. They've lost the spawn. They've lost that player towards B. Brolan tries to push Banana. He gets caught out. It, it just never really felt like a round where Fnatic had the information to really get the right read on the situation. Big win, all the fights. And now Fnatic, well, they go for a full spy in this follow-up round, but they've already taken a good bit of nade damage. 
They've done some damage of their own, though, onto Searson and Keto, but the two AKs of Tapson and Zantares still looking strong for them. Oh, through the smoke, Tapson with a kill on JW. Flash up around the corner, now big, starting to put pressure out towards the long position. Rotation coming through quickly from the speedway. But I don't think it's going to be enough at all here. Brolin under the pressure from multiple different positions now. But he has to go out of the bomb site. And this does isolate a couple of these fights as Brolin gets one out of that. I thought he was going to walk away with nothing that. I threw a couple of whiffed bullets, but he does eventually recover it and get at least one. Now just golden. Left alone in a 1v4. And it's just been the one kill for Fnatic into this second round force buy. So we won't be seeing that crazy back and forth that we... See at the start of the first, Alex. That one was uh, was a mental start to the game, really. Yeah, big not wasting any time this time round. Tizzy and oh, the pre-fire around the corner. Golden, not very happy with that. Understandably so. Tizzy and though, much happier with it. He's looking sharp at the start of this game. 18 kills for Tizzy and... Yeah, again, it's just really fun seeing, uh, you know, some of these players loosen up. As you said, we're really getting to see some of these players who you traditionally think of as, as more supportive players at times actually just take fights and show their skill and show how good they can be and, and show that it's probably more their roles than anything that causes their poor stats. That's a nice nade stack down mid. Golden gets the kill with it, but there's not that much more left for Fnatic, just the USPs. Tabson with the double kill. Golden and JW go down. And now it is Crimson Flusher into a two versus four. Just the USBs in play, of course. So it's easy picking four big who now get themselves a 12th round. Running through the apartments. Keto not wanting to waste any more time. It's 12 rounds for big right now. And to be honest, Fnatic haven't shown us a whole lot of what they're capable of in Inferno Chest yet, Alex. I think it's been a very quiet showing from them, but... Finally, we're going to get to see the rifles out. We're going to get to see the buy-in for Fnatic on the defensive side for the first time. No open play, of course, so just the M4s. And not a whole lot of utility, but it's good enough. Only two flashbangs on the entire defensive side, though. Yeah, focusing those mollies for Banana to begin with and those nades, which we might see do some damage. Two mollies put down onto Banana for Fnatic. Three CT stacked towards B to begin with, and Big have been forced away from Banana. So that's the outcome that Fnatic were expecting or hoping at the start of this round. The issue for Fnatic is they basically used all their nades in the first 30 seconds here. So if they do lose a bomb site, especially without a kit, they're going to have a really tough time. They've got to make sure they lock down this A site. They cannot afford to play retake here. Walking up to a short. Brawl out with the first headshot. Tabs in a falling victim. And Brawl will look for another one with this gap to play with as well. But Big have so many players still poised towards this A bomb site. So that have a good hold though. And the first kill is Crims. Tizian picks up a trade kill, but Brawl is still alive in the pit. That smoke is still allowing him to wrap around. A brilliant flash by. Fantastic place from Brawl in. And it's seven rounds for Fnatic. I just love that cheeky play from Brawl in from the pit. He's definitely the MVP of this round. Good shot onto the first Look player. At this. Wow. He uses that smoke. Yeah, and especially after being in that molly, that, that's basically the only play he can make. But because he's got that flashbang already, he can actually get away with it. Great round from Brolan. He's definitely been the shining light on this Fnatic side so far. I'm already going to see Crims putting some early nades on Banana. There's still a buy from Big, remember. That last round. They made sure to keep some money in the bank. They had a Mac 10 in there even, so that they can get the full gun round into this next one. Fnatic, though, again, using a lot of nades on Banana early. And it's paid off for them. They've got oh. the control, and they've nearly got the kill through the smoke. I have to see it's, uh, it's going to back away from that one. I have to say, that was one of the flashbangs out of two that they had in the last round as well. So good stuff there from Brolin. Flusher has been tied down already. He's 50 at HP right now. JW positioned towards short will actually bring himself back and play from the A-bomb site itself with big sending players out long. JW has repositioned but misses the shot. Now it's Golden's turn to try and light them up. It's a first kill, but that is all he will find. Tizian with the immediate headshot in reply from the big swing. That's his 20th kill so far on the server. 
And now you're just going to make a beeline to this B bomb site. Flutcher, the only player over here, has ported one down in towards CT. And Sindari will try and hold them off, but low HP here, Tizian. Don't walk into the fire. He'll walk close to it and still takes down Flusher. Cheeto holding off the flank up banana, but three players swing into his cross hat. And now Big need to be aware of this. Two players extremely low in HP and three players from Fnatic coming up through banana. They're all just sitting behind the smoke. They have some nades of their own, but it's not going to be easy for them to get back into this bomb site. Two kits in play at least, so they can afford to waste a bit more time, but the Molotov about to clear out one of these close corners, and the smoke for CT starts to push. Tizian nearly dies to that nade. Tizian's still waiting patiently, sprays down the first. Tabson and Tizian fighting together, and Tabson's got one from above. That crossfire was really nice from Big, just using those different angles of elevation, and Tabson even hunts down the final man. Fnatic not allowed to get away with anything there. And that double stack in towards oranges does the damage. Finally get to see tabs to light them up there. That's uh, that's definitely a really good sign. Obviously, we had some quiet performances from Tabson in the tournament, and you don't really want to be seeing that. So maybe he can go out with a bind, get a lot of coffers back in. If he can dish out the damage against an attic like this. Obviously, they have, both of these teams will be... Uh, competing in the same tournament a little bit later on in the year as well so a little teaser for that in the future nonetheless jw pulling back going up to the balcony currently fanatic don't have the best of weapons to play with and right now big and got that uh 13 7 score line so it'll be three rounds away from victory on map number one fanatic have yet re to really get going i think the first couple of rounds are looking good in the first half, but since then, it's, uh, it's been the big show. And it's been fun to watch these individuals all pop off. Keto looking down in towards CT spawn. Boost coming up from Fnatic. Golden getting JW into the elevated position. Tries to sell the one players there. Turns the smoke down as well, just to slow further. And there's 50 seconds left. That's the last piece of utility used up by Fnatic as well. I've got to say, the fact that Big have been able to turn Inferno into a more brawly map here, and they've been able to win the large majority of the fights, that doesn't bode well for Fnatic heading into Mirage, heading into Big's map pick. Mirage is definitely a map where we can see this similar style of play come through. I wouldn't be surprised if Big try and do similar stuff that they've done here. Keto's already got that first kill and he's just rushed into the site. I think he might've got rum boosted there. It was hard to keep track of it, but either way, Keto's got the two entry kills and Fnatic are already in trouble. Trying to get back into the pit bomb. Finally, he starts getting planted with just enough time really to get it down. His entire swings out and JW is picked off. Just Flusher and Golden left alone. And of course, Big looking at a 14th Fnatic will have better weapons to play with going into the next round, but it has to be flawless if they want to win in regulation. Right now, it's not looking likely. Big have been looking so poised so far. He's having a bit of fun as well. You can definitely see what the approach is on the CT side, especially that the Big have just let loose today. So the press just kind of off, right? They're, they're not going to be competing for the tournament win. It's all just bragging rights at this point, placing higher in the tournament. And right now... Big doing a good job at just lighting them up on an individual level. Fnatic haven't really got going just yet. They have to try and change that right now. Maybe this double up setup, that could change the tides. Flasher and JW picking up the orcs into this oh. round. Molly goes down early and the smoke doesn't arrive in time. So Flasher has to play a closer range angle. Citizen's already here and he's trying to land some shots through the wall. Nades from Fnatic not doing too much damage, but the Mollies have at least kept big at bay on Banana. And Fnatic realize they've probably just got to fall back here. Big also using some nades over on the A side of the map, though, so they're really forcing Fnatic to fall back. They're really forcing Fnatic to play passive. Ooh. Crims is biding his time. This could be good. JW is going to go down the Crims. Can he light them up? He gets one kill from the Cubby. That's not good enough. And now we've got 4v3, still pulled back by Golden, but the kill from Keto on the other side of the map is good, but the swing up top mid with a bomb, and that should give the round to Fnatic at least close enough, but Keto still with a chance, still just under a minute left, and the two remaining players for Fnatic are low in HP. 
Brolin goes into the apartment. 13 HP on Brolin, 7 for Golden. It comes down to whether or not they can spot out Keto. Would be going back through the apartments. Still have to recover that bomb. And Molotov is the only piece of utility he has left. He needs this instant kill on the Brawlin, and he's got it. Now repositioning yet again. Expecting a potential flank from Golden, but 30 seconds left. Kido has to get a move on now at this point. The Molotov into Boiler could be the perfect call. It's going to force Golden into the apartments. And Kido now has a window of opportunity to pick up that bomb and get it onto the site. He has to commit to A now. And he's gone the long way around. This does allow him to take fights in different angles, but Golden is just going to hide up in the apartments. Kito taking a safe plant at the back of the site. Golden now holding the cross back, and it's the immediate headshot from the AWP. Keto nearly plays it perfectly, but Golden still wins out the round for Fnatic. It's an eighth on the board. Nice to see a smile on Golden's face as well after that round win. Yeah, unfortunate for Keto there in that he tries to molly that boiler position, but I think because Golden had made the move slightly sooner than Keto would have expected, he didn't realize that Golden would have pushed all the way into the apartments, which is fair. There are just so many angles that Keto's got to be aware of in that spot. I think apartments is one of the last spots you really check there at that point, so unfortunately for him, it won't work out. The big won't mind too much. They're still 14-8 up. And these mollies down banana and down mid won't do enough because Tearsome's got two kills on banana. He wants more. Flusher finally deals with him. And okay, JW's got another kill back for Fnatic into a 3v3. Oh, this AWP is in one of the weirdest positions, but this might work for JW. He doesn't get away with his life. If there's any AWP to pull that kind of position off, though, it would be JW, but even he gets punished in this scenario. And Big answering back immediately after the round loss. It's 15 to 8 on the board. Big to map point here with Inferno. Yeah, this was three mollies down banana and mid for Fnatic, and yet still, uh, Searson is able to just split the difference, find that spot in the middle of them and get two kills. I think Fnatic probably were hoping that they could nade stack that position, but it just didn't come in in time. Searson got those two kills and he's got the spawn for Banana again. We might see more AWP battles out. Okay, not this time. Tizian close by with a Mac 10. Walks around the corner, gets one. Zantara's as well doing good work and he wants another one. A second kill picked up and that's probably enough to win this map now. Big so far ahead, even in this round. And Searson with the AWP is going to be hard checked. Golden with a headshot on the Deagle. Flusher trying to get over from library. He might get this kill. He's close to it, but... Not close enough. Tavson picks it up and secures victory for Big on map number one. Looking good for Big right now. The pressure's really off. The individuals all showing up, Alex. This has been a fun map to watch. Yeah, just really enjoyable to see Big loosen up a little bit. They're obviously still utility.